What is one of the most effective but underrated pieces of wealth advice that you can get? This is something that practically nobody follows. It's a very, very simple strategy. And I can assure you, if you do this well, you will assure your financial independence. Well, the piece of advice that I'm talking about is called paying yourself first. And paying yourself first simply means that before you receive your income and you spend it on everything else, you first take a chunk, a portion of that income, and you put it aside into investing for future wealth creation. Now, if you're in your 20s, it's suggested that you take 20% of your income and you put it away each year, every year until you're 60, because what's gonna happen is you would have created a net worth that will provide you with enough income to sustain the lifestyle that you're used to. Now, if you're in your 30s and you haven't done that in your 20s, then you would need to put away 30% of your income. And if you're in your 40s, you're gonna to need to put 40% of your income to get to the same outcome. Now, of course, all of this will only work if you have also selected high quality investments and those investments are not just good quality, but you're also managing the financial risk well. But the fact is that a lot of people think that they have to do all of these fancy things or they need to have a large amount of money to invest before they can become wealthy. The fact is if you're in your 20s and you can train yourself to live on 80% of your income, or if you're in your 30s and you can train yourself to live on 30, 70% of your income, and if you're in your 40s, you can train yourself to live on 60% of your income, paying yourself first would mean that there is money going into your future and then you are basically living off the rest. Well, the risk in not doing that is that practically nobody has any money left once they have paid everybody. So once you paid your groceries, you paid your petrol, you made your car payments, mortgage payments, whatever it is, you'll find that it's very rare for somebody to be, to be left with any money that they can invest for their future. And this is not an income problem because this happens even when people's incomes keep going up, they find that whilst their income and cash flow is going up, they also ensure that their expenses go up. So they never really have any disposable income to put aside. And so that's why it is so important that you set the habit early on so that you stick to that habit. And once you start to see that your savings and your investments are growing, you'll find that your motivation levels to save and invest will also increase. Now, the other good thing about doing this is that you send a subliminal message to your subconscious mind that you value yourself and your future. And when we don't pay ourselves first, we're basically sending a subliminal message to our mind that we value every other provider of products and services before we value us. And that's why people who spend everything that they make, or worse, even spend more than they make, will find that they're just never able to come up with a strategy, plan, and the discipline to be able to pay themselves first. So once again, the, one of the most underrated, but one of the most effective money advice that you can, you can get is to pay yourself first.